What is up, trust to for this trust to impress, and I am Baby B A C K back with another video. Today's video is going to be a wash and go video. My hair is still wet right now, but I am trying out Mia Nicole's winter wash and go routine using creams only from start to finish. So if you are interested in seeing this process and seeing the finished product because my hair is still wet right now, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, make sure you check the description box down below so that you can check out me and Nicole's original video. Let's get into this video. So I am going to be showing you guys the steps of this winter wash and go routine from start to finish, literally step by step. So I start off by rinsing my hair very thoroughly. I usually use warm water to do this process because I really want to get all of the oils and all of the products that are currently on my hair out of my hair. And y'all please excuse my clay mask. I was trying to get my skin all the way together. But if you are not familiar with Mia Nicole, then make sure you check out her channel and check out her original video. First, I'm using the Mayel Organics um, Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. This product it is a new product that I'm trying that I haven't really, I've only used it once before, so I haven't used it a lot before, but it is super moisturizing. You guys can see that I used a very small amount, so two pumps was enough to really get through my hair and i just chose this product because it is a moisturizing shampoo and mia used a moisturizing shampoo in her video and if you guys watch her video i don't think that this is so much about the products and the brands specifically as it is about the characteristics of the individual products that she used so it didn't really sound like she uses those exact same products every time she does this routine but just moisturizing products and heavier products and of course creams only for the styling part so i normally would use a gel for my wash and go um, but we'll see a very loose hole gel <clears throat> but we'll see how this works out because I thought her results were great and honey, her curls were popping for the goods. Okay, so hopefully I can get some good results. Now I am doing a second shampoo on my hair. She did two shampoos to make sure everything was nice and clean on the scalp. Of course, me attempting to shampoo my scalp only turns into my whole hair because I'm bald headed now out in these streets. So it is what it is. I cut all my hair off but you guys kind of get the drift the first shampoo she shampooed all of her hair and the second one it was scalp only even though you probably can't really tell that that's what i'm doing in the video so i go ahead and rinse everything out very very thoroughly and i am as you can see a sink washer um I just find that it's a lot easier, especially in the winter time. I have to wash my hair like this. If I get water in my ears um, during cold temperatures, it is a disaster and I get sick super easily. So for my conditioner, I'm using the moisturizing and anti-breakage conditioner from the Hawaiian Ginger Line from Myel Organics. It's super thick, super heavy, and that's what me and Nicole was focusing on in her videos using very heavy uh, moisturizing products. So I use a pretty generous amount of this product and y'all I just take the pump off the top because this product is so thick I don't have time it should have been in a squeeze bottle I don't have time to play with that little spout that they put on there Not worth it not working So after applying my conditioner, um, it looked like I rinsed it straight out. It was sitting on my hair for a few minutes before I rinsed it out. But I rinsed that out thoroughly and make sure I wring my hair out. I was about to add more. I forgot what step I was on. Okay, next is the Mayel Organics Rosemary and Mint uh, hair mask. So she did use a hair mask in her video, so I am going to try that out in my video as well. 
I've had this one for a while, so it's it almost has it's a little bit thicker than what it originally was when I bought it. And in one of her conditioning steps, she did detangle her hair in the shower. So I wanted to be sure to um, do that in my process as well. She used a, a paddle brush, but I am just using a wide tooth comb. I think that my hair texture is a little bit more kinky uh, than hers, especially in the crown section. And her hair is extremely moisture trained and mine is not right now. I've been blow drying it and flat ironing it. So I decided to use a super wide tooth comb because if I used a brush, I'll be even more bald. Next, I'm using the Mayel Organics Leave-In Conditioner and she applied her leave-in conditioner in the shower. So I am attempting to do that same step, applying the leave-in while my hair is soaking wet, which I normally skip this step. I normally skip this step. So I'm hoping that this does make it a little bit more uh, hydrating and then I'm just gonna cover this with a t-shirt because I'm pretty sure uh, she had a t-shirt on her hair as well and I think that that's supposed to be good for not drying out your hair uh, let me say when I took this t-shirt off my hair my hair felt so moisturized it felt so soft and moisturized. So I think the leave-in conditioner really helped. And now I am using the Mayel Organics Babasu Curl Cream. So remember, we're styling with creams only, no gels. So this is the um, curl cream that I'm applying to my hair. It's very thick and very heavy. And then I'm, on top of that, I'm going to use the Mayel Organics Curl Custard. So these are the closest products that I could find in my collection that matched what she used in her video. And I actually thought that she did not use a detangling brush, so I didn't. But she really did use a Denman brush on this um step so I think I could have gotten even better results and better definition had I used my dimming brush on this step but hey I didn't and she also shingled so I did stick with that and kind of do a shingling method as best I could I am not used to this short hair at all y'all this is my first time doing a wash and go on my shorter cut hair so I have no clue what my results are going to be looking like but I'm hoping for a miracle because me and Nicole's hair was looking bomb I did notice a bit of a difference in just the feel of my hair like it just felt very soft and moisturized using these products um, it didn't feel stiff at all from, you know, no gel casting going on. It just felt very, very soft throughout the process. And you can see that my hair is not very moisturized. Like my roots are super, super frizzy. So I'm going to work on that um, some more because it stands out more when your hair is shorter. Like my hair is the same texture as it was when it was longer, but it's just more noticeable when the hair is shorter so for each quarter section i am splitting those in half as i work and that just makes the shingling method a little bit easier if your hair is denser or a tighter curl pattern you may have to break it down to to even more sections than that but this is what works for me and this is what me and Nicole did in her video. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. Click that bell to turn on your post notifications. And leave me some comments down in the comment box. I am really just going to start going in with trying uh, other successful YouTubers' um processes for these twist outs and wash and goes and natural styles because my short hair has me like lost like the things that I was doing on my long hair doesn't seem to be working the same 
and I realized that Mia Nicole's hair is long, but it is super, super uh, moisturized, moisture trained, and the curls be popping, okay? So I finally got to the end of my shingling, and now it's time to do the edges. I'm using the Honey and Ginger uh, Edge Control by Mayo Organics, and this is just in the spirit of keeping with the uh, wash and go routine that I am trying out. So y'all know I don't normally do edge control. It normally gives me like a white residue the next day. I haven't found an edge control that I really like. And I did notice in her video that she said the one that she was using does not leave a white residue. So I may have to try that particular one out. I normally just use a setting lotion to slay my edges. And this took a lot of patience, y'all. Edge control is not easy. I like to just wet my edges and kind of you know brush and let them kind of curl up the way they want but using an edge control you really have to place every strand perfectly because however you brush your edges is how they're stuck literally so this part was not fun it actually took me quite a bit of time so you guys are watching it in a time lapse but I will say I was impressed with the results, especially when I did pictures. It just looked a lot more polished um, in pictures than the way that I normally do my edges without edge control. So I don't know. I might be a new fan of edge control. We'll see. I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the edge control versus, you know, how I normally just do it with setting lotion. All right, so this is the final product while my hair is still wet and I am going to diffuse off camera. All right, folks, so this is where we are so far. I just literally finished the shingling and I just finished my edges and everything. So, y'all, I don't do edge control, but this is how it came out. I'm actually pretty surprised. It took a lot of patience. But I'm pretty surprised that the edges came out as well as they did. So I'm going to let this air dry for a little bit and come back and let you guys see the finished product. Uh, me and Nicole said she diffused her hair. I've done that once before and it came out really, really badly. So I'm a little bit scared to try that out. So stay tuned. We'll see what it looks like. Y'all, I did not film the results. So here are some pictures of the dry results. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. I think it came out great and I officially adopt this winter routine. I am doing it every wash day.